this is Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing my May wrap up talking about the books that I read in the month of May. So this month I read a total of five books which I'm not happy with but it is what it is. Um, I wish I read more. A lot going on this month and honestly like I just wasn't in the reading mood. I wanted to be but I wasn't. So five books. Let's get into it. First thing I read was actually for school and that is The Crucible by Arthur Miller. Well this is a play actually but it's about basically this play takes this play takes place in Salem, Massachusetts during the time of the Salem witch trials. So this is about our characters we follow. John Proctor, Abigail. I describe this book? I don't know. But this is just a play about people being accused of witchcraft and what they did during those Salem witch trials to people who were accused. And it's about characters and relationships and there's just so much, there's some drama going on to say the least. Basically it was really interesting and like I'm, I'm into learning about all the witchy stuff so that part I found really interesting. This did, it wasn't, it didn't blow me away but it didn't like disappoint me. It was just kind of what it was. <laughs> and I was like, okay, it was cool. Um, uh, my favorite characters were John Proctor and Abigail. Uh, Abigail was obviously very twisted. She had her own agenda for things. She's twisted things. She, mm, she was very manipulative and yeah, but I've done a lot of work for this for school. So like me talking about it out loud and like to a camera, it's like, what the hell? Like I wrote an essay on this. Like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> But I ended up giving this book 3.5 out of 5 stars. I did like it, but it's not like my favorite thing ever. Like I understand why people love it, but I also understand why people don't like it at all. Next up is a reread. So I reread She Felt Like Feeling Nothing by R.H. Sin. I was in a mood for his poetry and like I don't have any more. Like because I've read everything he's published, but like not the stuff he publishes on Amazon on his own. But anyways, this is more for like after relationship ends and you need some kind of like support and guidance. This is what kind of... I would say this one is more centered around like the end of a relationship and breakups. I ha my the first time I read this, I did like it, but I didn't think it matched up to his other collections. And I just thought like his shorter works don't always impress me because like this is one of his shorter collections. On reread though, I did like it. I bumped it up 0.25 more than the last time, so I ended up giving this one a 3.75 out of 5. I love his work. This collection was better than the first time I read it, so. Yeah, I think if you are going through something like that or you are in the mood for some poetry, this is a good one to check out if you feel like it. Next up for another poetry collection, I read World of You by Bo Taplin. I tried to say the author's name, I probably pronounced it wrong, but I was sent this by the publisher, so Andrews McNeil Publishing, so thank you so much to them. It was a little surprise and I really appreciated it. This is a really beautiful collection that just released and I loved this so much. It's poetry and prose, which I always like when there's prose in there as well. I It was just such a pleasant surprise. Like I love the writing style and I really connected with the poems and it was just like overall all like a very like solid collection that I was really impressed with. I want to read um, this author's other collection called Bloom. I really want to check that one out but this was really great so if you have heard of this one or you see it around the bookstore it is a new release and I personally really enjoyed it. So yeah I gave this one four stars. Very presently surprised by this one. I just expected it to be okay but it was just very very good actually. Next up here I read another book for school and that was 1984 by George Orwell. This one I chose like we had a list of books and then we can choose one of like the five and I ended up choosing this one because I already owned it. So if you don't know 1984 is basically is set in Oceania and it is about this guy named Winston and this society that he lives in it's monitored extremely monitored and there's the government in this book is called like Big Brother and they monitor everything you do and there's like the thought police so if you think a certain thing like the thought police is on you. Like telescreens everywhere, there's helicopters, you're constantly being like recorded. It's very tough situation to be in and I ended up quite liking this one. It's like a very interesting concept and something I haven't really considered before like at this capacity and this degree before but it was overall just very interesting, like a very interesting story. Winston was like a very interesting character just to like analyze again, like I've written, like I'm writing like an essay slash paragraph on this coming up. So like I, when I, I think some of you guys can relate when you're talking about books for school, you're like, okay, great. Um, 
because like I'm gonna have to write about it and <laughs> sometimes the story dragged though like I felt like the romance plot and then like some backstory it was just like it just dragged and I was like come on sweetie let's go the ending was very interesting and Overall, the story is something that I'm very excited to analyze, and I made so many tabs because school. So yeah, I did enjoy this one. I gave this one. I'm still thinking of my rating, but I think it's going to be around like a 3.75 or so. Next up, I read Wild Blue Wonder, and this is by Char uh, Carly Sorosiak. I can never say this author's name. I apologize. I probably should look it up. I was sent this by HCC Frenzy in exchange for an honest review. I unfortunately did not even finish. I didn't finish it. I was about halfway through this one and I just couldn't do it. This is about like a summer camp and the family owns it and our, we follow a, our main character Quinn. She like falls in love with her best friend Dylan then there's like this accident that happens so you're kind of going between past and present. The new boy in town it's like a coming of age story of our main character Quinn and her going through some things. So personally I just felt like a disconnect with this story. I could not get into the writing or the characters or the plot which is really unfortunate because I requested it because it sounded so appealing to me. It was overall just like meh. Like the characters weren't anything special to me. So I know a lot of people are really loving this one right now. So I was really unfortunate. Like I was really sad that I didn't enjoy it as everybody else seems to. But there were just some flaws for me. There was just some awkward writing at some points and just some things I like some lines that I was like, what the hell? But overall, of course, I appreciate being sent it, but it personally just didn't jazz with me at all. And I couldn't finish it. I this is what I was reading most of the month because I was like, you gotta get your arc done, Julia, but like I couldn't do it. So yeah, I gave this like two stars. It's probably like a 1.5 because I did DNF it. But if you're interested in it, still check it out. Read some reviews, look into it because like I know I'm one of like the few people that haven't enjoyed it as of now. <laughs> there you guys have it. Those were the books that I read in the month of May. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and what you read. I'll see you all very soon with a new video. Bye. Back to me.